What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about how to make a delete page in ASP.NET NVC. And just like all the other tutorials, we will go ahead and get started on um, the controller. The controller is usually the best place to start and we'll just go ahead in here. Let me move up my mic real quick. And we'll go ahead and start working on that signature so go here we'll go delete then for the query param if you don't know what a query, query param is this is what's going to be passed into the url if you have a http post everything will be within the body but within these little parameters this means that you're going to be passing uh, you're going to have variables that will be passed into the URL. So we'll go club details, we'll go await, and we'll have club repository, we'll have get all by ID, async, and we'll also just do a little bit of validation here. So we'll have club details, and if it is not null, or if it is equal to null, we'll do a null check and we'll have an error. And if not, we'll return the view with the club details inside of it. And then all we need to do is we need to go to our actual club folder within our views. We need to create a view and we need to name it delete. So just go in here, we'll have a simple delete. And if you want to you could literally just copy and paste the edit over. Um, in in my case, you can actually, if you want to, you can just go to my GitHub. I'm just going to copy and paste um, the edit over, and I'm just going to modify, and I just modified it a little bit. All I did was I pasted the edit over, and I just put, are you sure you want to delete this club at the top, and I made sure that the model was right. Also, make sure that your form is separated don't have a nested form like that we want to have two forms we actually don't really even need this form right here but we'll just have it just in case and we'll name this post down here delete club just so that um it doesn't try to post to the same um uh, ASP action and yeah so we'll have this one delete the other one before was edit so make sure that you swap those out the encoding type doesn't really matter none of this other stuff really matters for right now we're just going to have it so that it's posting this hidden ID so for this one the club ID which is let me see here I'm just gonna go ahead open up SQL server so the club ID is actually going to be like the database primary key and the reason that we have it as a hidden field is because you don't want to be exposing the club ID uh, like that you don't want to be putting that into the web page because number one it doesn't really look that great and number two it could could be a security risk I don't you know probably not but you never know you don't want you don't want to be passing stuff so what is going to be in that hidden field is going to be the ID. And then once it passes it back to the server, that's how it's going to actually do the delete. And we'll just go ahead here. And while we're at it, we'll just go ahead and make the delete too, because um, this is a relatively simple controller. We don't need to uh, worry too much um, about you know the misspelling because this is going to, the put the delete is actually going to be hidden anyway so we'll just call this one action name and this one will be delete club we'll just call it delete club like this this one will go down it'd be public async the delete club and we'll pass in the int id go down here we can go ahead, we can pass this because we're going to have to get the club anyway. So pass that down into there. Make sure that the ID is what we want. And also, let's see, we just need to have a simple club repository dot delete. And then we're just going to pass in that whole entire object that we get back from the get by ID async and entity framework will, will do the rest for us. So we'll go here 
And this should work first shot, but we also need to make sure that we have a button to get to the actual delete page. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna go delete, make sure that this is delete and it's going to pass in the ID. So we're gonna have delete there and we should be good to go. We should be able to run this immediately. So into here, we want to do the clubs first. So we'll have running club one, running club two, and it looks like it's populating this information correctly. Go f so didn't, something didn't, so what happened here was I think it tried to hit the wrong API or it tried to hit the it hit the controller in the wrong way, and I'm not exactly sure what exactly happened there. So actually, this one will be delete, and so delete club, and we'll actually call this one delete, and then we'll go into here this will be delete right here. And this should work. This should actually be what we want. Fingers crossed. So we go to our club, running club one, running club two, and it deleted. So perfect. Now we just need to go do, uh, do this for the race. So we're gonna just, let's just drag this over to the other side and go over to this controller. So we're gonna go down to this controller and we're just gonna copy and paste. Now that we've got a good, you know, we've got this thing working, we don't have to worry so much about the code. We can just, you know, copy and paste all of this over to here, let's go race. And this is actually spelt wrong, so we're just gonna go through, I'm just gonna go through and re refactor this. So repository, I'm gonna drag this over here. Just go ahead and remove all these S's. This is spelled wrong. I don't know how that actually got through. Sometimes just stuff gets, weird stuff just gets through like this. And I'm just gonna go down here, just delete all of these. And that should take care of it. Then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do the same exact thing. So go over, go down here and we're gonna leave that delete. We're gonna change these over to the races. So we got race, race, change this, change this. Change this. We need to make our index. So we'll go over here. We can actually get rid of that. Make our index. So go down here. Go into this one. Make this one delete. Make this delete. Okay, then we need to actually make the delete view. So go into our view, and we're gonna delete, and let's go ahead and just paste all of this over, just like that. Make this one, change that to the race. We can save that. So we go to the race category. Then we're gonna change this one. Okay, so far so good. So we go down here, got the delete. We're making sure that we're not nesting our forms. Just to do one more double check, gonna make sure I have that delete over here. And it looks like we should be good to go. We should be able to run this.
and we'll go over to here. And just to make sure, so it looks like we've got that. And I'm going to double check. So the running race two, let's see, running race two, the ID is equal to two. And what ha so we've gotten, uh, I actually just found this error. So we want to go to here. So go to get by ID async. And this actually slipped by me. Um, we have, we have to make sure that we're finding the ID for this. Cause as, as where the code stands right now is we're not actually finding the ID. So go to your uh the race repository go to the get by id async and make sure when you're doing your first or default async it's actually searching by the id uh, because right now it's not actually returning it's returning the very first race but it's not returning the actual one that we want to which is the reason why before it was showing the, it was only showing the very first one so we go here and now we have our running race two. Before it was running race one, and that was the reason why it was just showing that first one, which is kind of strange. So that's it. We've got our delete all figured out. We've got the club delete. We've got the race delete all figured out. We are ready to go. We are probably gonna be moving on to identity. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.